The women's soccer team at Firestone High School in Akron, among hundreds of area teams, uncertain about their season. Mandatory practice starts for them August 1st. Their first match scheduled to kick off the third week in August. We just continue to work hard. We continue to put in the work and put 100% in the entire time. Um, because if we do have a season, we want to make sure that we're prepared. The Firestone Falcons hoping the hard work pays off and they score big in real competition after a summer filled with coronavirus uncertainty. To give athletes hope, the lieutenant governor launched a return to play campaign urging people to practice social distancing, wear a mask and wash their hands. But right now, there is one competitor we must defeat if we want to return to play and that's the spread of coronavirus. Through an Ohio Department of Health short-term order, games and contact sports can take place through July 15th, but players, coaches, and staff must not show any signs of COVID-19 and must be tested no more than 72 hours prior to a competition. Coach Amy Gaynor supports more testing. In the end, keeps everybody safe. There's no guesswork involved. Um, I know for myself, I like a guarantee. But contact sports games for the fall season have not been permitted yet. If competition kicks off, questions remain about whether athletes will have to be tested before every game. I think it'd be hard to manage and hard to figure out, but I think if that's what we have to do, then we have to do. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5.